Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I wanted to share with you the Argon Neo 5 case from my good friends over at Argon 40. This is a fantastic case in a long lineage of fantastic cases that Argon makes. I think I have almost every one of the ones that they do make. Let's go put this one together and talk about it a little bit. We've got the Raspberry Pi 5 8 gig model and the Argon Neo 5 case for the Raspberry Pi 5. Let's see how these things work out and see if this is something you might be interested in. Well, that's never going back in the box again. I'm not a fan of how they glue those boxes together. Ooh, pocket knife time. Knife check. We make, you create. Nice. I find that Argon makes the highest quality cases and I have quite a few of their cases. That seems like the front, but that's the front. Quick assembly guide. Do the thing. Awesome. So let's do the thing. There is a fan and a little ramp here so the heat comes up and goes that way. Because, you know, heat rises. And then this is an aluminum case, which is also going to help with the heat sinkery. And then there is a plastic bottom to allow your Wi-Fi's to get out and your Bluetooth's too. We have some feet for the bottom of the case. We have a cover for the SD card door. And then we have a whole bunch of screws and some heatsink transfer stickers. Silicon thermal pads is what they call them. So I'm gonna put them where they are shown to be placed in here. So one on the big chip, one down here. Let's do it. And of course it falls sticky side down. And these silicon thermal pads are designed to create a more perfect seal between the heat sink mating surfaces and the chip parts. But what they wanted you to do, I got ahead of myself, what they wanted you to do is route the fan through the case and plug it into the header. And we need to go through this part of the case. Like so. And then plug this into the fan connector. And the fan connector on the Pi 4 comes with a cover on it. So we got to pull that cover out and then we can plug the fan in. And this connector only goes in one way, so you're not going to mess it up unless you try really, really hard. All right, there we go. That is plugged in. Okay, now back to the heatsink covers. These are double-sided sticky covers. So make sure you get off both sides of the sticky cover protector, and then make sure that it is well stuck. And they also want you to make sure that this fan power supply cable is routed well when you plug the Raspberry Pi into the case. So let's plug the Raspberry Pi into the case. So I made it come out the end of the case there, otherwise it would be bent up in there. So it's out there. And then you gotta make sure you don't do things like that. Okay, there we go. Do not insert the SD card and then put the bottom of the case on. And then we need to do some screws. And that's gonna create a nice positive connection between the heatsink silicon thermal pads and the bottom of the case. And then we've got the fan cable routed appropriately in there. I took a little bit of extra time to be good about that. And then I need to make up an SD card. And once you have the SD card made up, then you can screw in this little cover here to give you that little finishing touch. Let's show you what that looks like. So that's how that looks with the SD card cover on. It looks very professional, but I'm not ready to put that on because I don't have my SD card made up. One of the neat things about this is it also has screw eyelets for hanging it onto a wall or something. So you could do that. And we might make use of that in a future project. And then you can run this with the top off to access all of the stuff, or you can run it with the top on. Or if you have like the Shari Pi, the Pi 4, version of this case, the Raspberry Pi 
4 and the Argon Neo case, they actually drilled a couple of holes in it and mounted things directly onto the top of this. But once you have this on, you can screw it in place and you have a very nice looking professional case there. Let's put the feet on. One foot, two foot, red foot, black foot. And then this is the Argon Neo case for the Pi 4 next to the Argon Neo case for the Pi 5. This is the Shari Pi hat that I was telling you about. And then there are a couple of holes drilled in for some lights on the Shari hat itself, as well as for the antenna connector to come out. And it's got that same plastic bottom. And then this one here was actually secured on magnetically. So you'll notice the difference in the ports. We still have the USB-C port for power, the two HDMI mini ports for display, the audio port on the Pi 4, and it is missing on the Pi 5. And then the ports over here are rearranged. So the Ethernet USB 3, USB 2 versus Ethernet USB 3, USB 2. And then nothing on this side. So there you go, there is a comparison. The Pi 5 case, the Neo 5 is a little bit taller than the Pi 4 case, but either way, this is a nice compact case for getting the job done. And then of course, right after I got the Neo 5 case, they came out with the Argon 1 case for the Pi 5, and this is the Argon 1 case for the Pi 4, but one of the things I like about it is it has this really cool design, and it looks good sitting on your desk, just as well as this one looks good sitting on your desk. But this one looks more computer-esque, and it relocates all of the ports to the back of the device with an included PCB. It gives you full-size HDMI ports, and this one has the ability to have a sled on the bottom of it for an M2 SATA drive, and that's what I have on here. And then you can get it without the sled for the M2 SATA drive if you'd like, and that gives you back your USB 3 port. There you have it, the Argon Neo 5 case compared to the Argon Neo 4 case compared to the Argon 1 case. The last two, the silver ones were for the Pi 4. I need to get an Argon 1 case for the Pi 5 because I got a couple more projects for Pi 5s and I like the way the Argon 1 case looks. If you're the kind of person that can't get enough storage space and speed, then the Neo 5 case also has an add-on option for the PCIe and M2 connectors to round out its offerings. I just wanted to share with you how the Neo 5 looks and maybe you can think of some ways you might wanna integrate that into your projects going forward. There are links in the description down below for more information on these things. And if you wanna see when I did some performance evaluation on the Pi 5, I will leave that video right over here for you. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.